Hi guys, today I'm going to share with you my top 5 luxury nude lipsticks. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with the one that I've currently got on my lips and it is the Chanel Rouge Coco in 402 Adrienne. And this I would describe as a warm pinky peach nude with brown undertones. It doesn't look like it had brown on my lips but upon swatching and compared to the other nudes that I have it definitely has a bit more kind of an earthy element to it. This is such a beautiful shade in such a forgiving formula. It's in the Rouge Coco formula which they reformulated I think it was last year and they released several new shades in the lineup and for me this is the type of lipstick that you can literally just throw on your lips without the need for any mirror and you can wear it any time of day with any makeup look and it will just look perfect. Probably more glossy than I'm used to but I'm really getting into this sort of texture when it comes to nude lipsticks. I've definitely kind of veered slightly more away from the matte lipstick look which I tend to prefer. I definitely prefer matte lipstick when it comes to dark colours but I think nude lips with a little bit of a sheen to it just makes your lips look more plumper, more fresher, more healthy. Obviously with this sort of finish it's not the most long lasting of formulas which for me isn't a deal breaker especially if it's a lip that you're wearing every day I mean I'm just happy to touch it up whenever I need to. It does last a good few hours if you're not eating and drinking but obviously if you're eating especially the colour's going to fade and you kind of have to expect it with this sort of formula but I think it's okay when it looks this good. This formula is very emollient so it literally glides onto the lips and it feels very kind of balmy. Um, like there's a lot of slip when you rub your lips together so it definitely keeps your lips feeling nourished and hydrated the whole time that you're wearing it. So essentially it's like a bit of a balm in a lipstick. So a bit of a multitasker when it comes to lipsticks. And if you're one to suffer from dry lips then I definitely recommend that you check out this formula because I think it's incredible. I don't really suffer from dry lips but my lips can certainly appreciate this texture. It's just glorious. I think this is one of my new favourite lipsticks of all time. If I could wear this lipstick every day for the rest of my life I think I'd be happy. Big statement, I know, but I think this has the ability to keep me content. And it comes in the classic Chanel packaging with the black bullet uh, and the gold and the entwined CC on the lid. My next favourite luxury nude lipstick is a Charlotte Tilbury's. I think this is the KISSING formula. It's in the shade Penelope Pink. But I would argue that this is more of a warm peachy nude than a pink. I don't think it looks pink on my lips, do you? And I have to say, if I'm being objective, this is probably not the best formula, but it's the colour that I am in love with. I mean, it's not a bad formula, but if I'm comparing it to the other formulas in my lineup, then this is probably my least favourite. I feel like your lips have to be really prepped to wear um, the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I mean, if you're suffering from dry lips, or if you are kind of prone to prominent lines then you're not really going to get on with this lipstick. As I mentioned I don't really suffer from dry lips but the first time I actually tried on this lipstick I was a little bit mm, have I made the wrong choice in buying this lipstick because it kind of went on a bit funny and I noticed that my lines were really kind of pronounced and it's not something that I really ever noticed with any lipstick before. But having worn this since then, I haven't really encountered that issue much, especially if my lips are kind of well moisturized beforehand. And that is something I definitely recommend. So if you suffer from dry lips, I definitely recommend having a lip scrubbing session beforehand and make sure you, know, you prep them nicely with some lip balm um, before you go into applying this. This is also a satin formula but it doesn't have as much sheen as the Chanel Rouge Coco in Adrienne. Whilst it's very easy to apply and it sits really comfortably on the lips, it's less emollient than the Chanel Rouge Coco. So if you're really after that hydrating, nourishing formula then I definitely recommend going for the Chanel option. 
but this for me feels really lovely on the lips it doesn't feel drying there's a nice amount of slip to it as well when you purse your lips together again with it being a satin kind of finish it's not the most long lasting i'd probably say it lasts a tad longer than the chanel one um, only because the chanel one does have a lot amount of um, sheen and slippage to it um, so it's more prone to moving around but again not a deal breaker for me for this kind of sort of lipstick and you know with Charlotte Tilbury the packaging is absolutely to die for it's that beautiful rose gold it's kind of got a ribbed exterior with the CT logo on the cap and yeah I just think it's absolutely gorgeous I really want to try the shade in Bitch Perfect because that looks like a kind of my lips but better kind of shade and that's right up my alley. This has a slight sweet scent to it but it's definitely nothing overwhelming. It's really really subtle but it's nice to just get that hint of a scent to your lipstick that doesn't smell like granny lipstick. I actually forgot to mention that the Chanel one does have a hint of that granny lipstick smell to it. But again, it's quite subtle, not overwhelming, so it's something I can kind of forgive. My next favourite luxury nude lipstick is the MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick in the shade Doe. This is more of a dark peachy brown nude. These are quite new to the market, I think they were only released a few months ago, but oh my god, wow, these are incredible now i don't really usually pay attention to any of the mac launches i think they come out with far too many launches in the space of you know a few months it just kind of loses that novelty effect for me when you are constantly releasing like a limited edition or collaboration ranges you know it just kind of all blurs into one for me but when i saw the reviews come through for the mac lip intensity lipsticks and they were all pretty darn good I thought I'd have to get my hands on it and um, obviously I picked up two of the nude shades so this one is Doe and the other shade I picked up was uh, Smoked Almond and that's more of a kind of pinky my lips but better kind of shade but this formula is incredible it's almost like a combination of the cream sheen and the amplified finishes of the MAC lipsticks if you're familiar with them but kind of amped up I was going to say on steroids is that appropriate? I think I put that in my blog but anyway this is a full coverage one swipe wonder if you like it's got unique gel texture I mean I'm not sure if it's unique but it's certainly something I don't think I've come across before in terms of lipstick it doesn't glide on quite as easily as say the Shinar's Rouge Coco lipstick there's a bit more kind of resistance but it's not draggy you know what I mean it's not a bad thing but you can definitely feel when you swipe it on your lips that it's of serious kind of substance it doesn't glide on as easy which is a good indication that it's not going to come off as easily it feels thick but not heavy on the lips and like i said it's a one swipe wonder so you know one swipe and you've got full coverage pigment on your lips this color lasts for hours i mean it's a very very long lasting it's got a satin finish but more of a Demi matte satin. It's not a sheeny satin, but it's also not a flat matte, so kind of somewhere in between. Again, for me, it sits incredibly comfortably on the lips. If you're after a lipstick that is very pigmented, that is long lasting, but isn't quite matte, that feels comfortable on the lips, then I guess this is your guy. The MAC Lip Tensity Lipstick has that classic MAC scent to it, which is kind of like a sweet vanilla ish scent but not overwhelming i actually really like the scent of mac lipsticks there's just something about it however i do believe this is a limited edition range they've got i think about 24 shades so a great range of colors from you know your nude your fuchsias through to various shades of reds and to your deep kind of plums as well so a nice color range if you want to get your hands on them I would get down to your local MAC counter Ponto. My next favorite nude is the NARS Audacious Lipstick in the shade Barbara and this is more of a pinky tone nude. The Audacious Lipstick is one of my favorite formulas of all time if not 
my favourite formula of all time. And I do have a few shades from the range, but this is my favourite nude. The formula is just incredible. When I first picked up the Lip Tensity lipsticks, I actually compared it to the Audacious lipsticks in terms of colour payoff, longevity and formula. But now having tested them side by side, I definitely still think I prefer the NARS Audacious formula. It definitely glides on a lot more easier than with the Lip Tensity lipsticks. Um, it feels slightly more emollient and therefore a bit more comfortable on the lips, even though the Lip Tensity lipsticks are, are fine on the lips, they feel really nice on the lips, but I'd say if I had to compare the level of comfortability, I'd say that the Audacious ones sit a little bit better. The Audacious lipsticks are a satin finish, so do carry that little bit of a sheen, um, not as glossy as the Chanel Rouge Coco. It's quite subtle, it's almost like a demi matte finish if you like. So a great one for those who like the look of a matte lipstick but don't particularly enjoy wearing the formula. Although with technology nowadays, the formula of matte lipsticks have improved greatly. They're not as drying as they were renowned to be. It doesn't really have too much of a scent to it. Again, like with the lip tensity, if you're after a lipstick that is a bit of a one swipe wonder, even when I'm eating and drinking, I find that this lipstick has incredible staying power. So you don't find yourself needing to touch up as frequently as say with the Chanel or the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. So if you hate touching up through the day, then I definitely recommend checking this lipstick out. And then finally, last but not least, Bite Beauties and Mouge Bouche in the shade Honeycomb. And this is more of a peachy beige nude. And let me tell you, this is full coverage. I mean, you can see it on my lips, it is literally just pure pigment. And after comparing all these lipsticks side by side and putting them on my lips, I actually think this formula is a lot more closer to the MAC Lip Tensity lipsticks than the NARS Audacious is. It has that kind of gel-like texture that makes it feel very kind of luxurious. It glides on just like the MAC Lip Tensity lipstick, not quite as with ease as the other lipstick, but that doesn't mean that it drags on the lips at all. Another one swipe wonder, if you're after serious pigment in the most minimal amount of swipes, then this, the Audacious and the Lip Tensities are your guys. This has a really nice fruity scent to it as well. It's a lot stronger compared to the scents of the other lipstick, but I don't hate it. I can't figure out what fruit it is though. This feels divine on the lips. It feels emollient, hydrating, nourishing, but not too slippy like it's gonna fade within a couple of hours. This definitely lasts a good few hours and also kind of holds up to your food and your drink. Obviously, if you're eating a three course meal, then don't expect the lipstick to be all intact by the end of it, but certainly like snacking and um, drinks, you know, this is going to withstand that and with it being from bite beauty i think all the ingredients are organic or edible or something along those lines so not that you're going to be eating lipstick out of a tube but you know if you do ingest it you know you're in safe hands this is an incredible formula and all the hyped up reviews are well and truly justified and i like the packaging as well it's a bit different it's matte and it's kind of like a deep grey rather than black and it's got that kind of uh, indented curve at the top um, with the bite logo at the bottom. I have to say my favourite packaging is probably the NARS one um, only because it has the most satisfying click. I can listen to that click all day long. Uh, it does get a little bit grubby with it being kind of like a matte finish but yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed watching me share with you my top five luxury nude lipsticks. I'd love to know what your favorite nude lipstick of all time is, luxury or drugstore. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give me a thumbs up. It would help me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.